Well, let's go back a little bit. The last time we saw you was in September. Yeah. Close, close fight. Yeah. What, what did you think about it? Did you did you know you had the victory, or were you a little worried? Well, I was worried a little bit, but uh, in, in my in my mind, I, I did enough to to win the fight. Yeah. So. It's been since September since you fought. Uh, talk about it. Was it your choice to kind of sit out for a little bit and enjoy no, enjoy the holiday? I think I think I I, I talked to my manager, you know, and uh, I, I was really want to fight, but. You know they don't have anything book yet, and I have to wait. So, nice. but finally they give me a good one, a good card. I'm happy for that. So say this is a you know kind of the first pay per view of the year. It's a yeah. little cold up here in New York, but but excited about this opportunity. Yeah. It's a two two scenarios different, right? The last time was in Texas, hot, <laughs> and you know we are here cold in New York, but you know. I'm, I'm, I have fun for sure. The octagon at the, the end of the day is going to be the same. Very nice. I was wondering, so back at welterweight again, I was wondering thing about the last fight. You know, did the move back down to welterweight play into that at all? Did you have to make changes? Did you did you think about maybe going back up to middleweight? How yeah, you know, that, that thing like it was in my mind, like the diet, you know, cut weight, cut a lot of weight, you know, and I'm still, you know, and it, it was in my mind at the, at the last time too, but I think now I have a thing on the track right now and I'm not going to be a problem, you know. We'll see, we'll see. I'm going to see this fight, how, how, how things are going, you know. And But so far, I feel cool and, and what the weight. Yeah. What what kind of changes did you have to make? Did you make any tweaks in between? Diet, you yeah. know, even my training too. Like in, in, the, in the camp, we start to feel less energy than before. You know, 185 was easy, you know. So I was, my whole camp, I trained like 100%, even like the week before the fight. Because I did have a to cut a lot of weight, and this time I'm concerned about. It. I need to be more, you know, more concerned, more, more intelligent about my camp. You know, those things you need to fix and, and the diet for sure. Nice. So you get matched up with a guy, Ryan the Flair. Uh, maybe not the biggest name in the sport. You know, he's had some injuries and stuff like that, but right. a really tough guy. It is. It's 12 and one, and I, I have opportunity to saw his fight against Demi Maia. I was sitting on the f uh, front row when he fought in Brazil. And I, I know he's a tough guy, you know, it's a good match for me. I'm, I'm really excited to fight again, uh, against a guy, you know, like, uh, coming up, right? And I don't know why, but uh, UFC always give me South Pole Wrestling. <laughs> yeah, Joe Silva, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling I can I can you know, uh, Tony De Souza and Derek Brunson, and I supposed to fight uh, Kobe, right. my teammate. He saw the pole too. You know, they they offered the fight, but some something happened, and the fight don't don't end up. And and now Ryan Lafleur saw the pole wrestling. So, <laughs> so maybe you're glad Joe Silva's out. So maybe you get a different matchup. I don't know. I wanna, I, I'm, I'm, um, you know, I want to ask him. You know, do you think like my style like don't match up with the Western <laughs> South Pole? <laughs> You know, because most of the time, South Pole guys, you know, and Wesley, so. That's funny. Yeah. Well, tell me, you know, Ryan is a guy who's kind of an up-and-coming guy, got a great record, but for you that's been around forever. Right. You know, is it tough? I mean, do, do you enjoy facing these guys that are new, or is it tough for you to kind of get motivated and excited for somebody that maybe you don't, you haven't seen fight for a long time? I feel, I feel motivated, man, because those guys, like, they, they kind of, like, have the new... I mean, the new thing, like the new generation, like the new cross training, you know. So and and put me on the on the on, on put me to think like you know I'm capable to do that. So and I'm enjoy. I wanna I wanna you know I just wanna release what was I was trained. You know I had a amazing train. Amazing guys helped me a lot. My coach Cattell, uh, Sap, Luis Sap, one FC champion and. New kids like I have one guy Mark. He's from uh, from England. Uh, he's a UFC fighter too. Uh, I mean, I'm happy. I think that's the that's the key. You know, I just go there and, and I believe if I be the the, the guy I am in the gym, I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun for sure. You talk about being in the gym. I mean, I know you like to teach and, and you like to train. I'm I'm uh, I'm a couple months older than you, so I'm I'm 38. Uh, I wonder. I mean, what 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 do you still have left to accomplish? I mean, what do you still have out there in mind that you still want to accomplish as a fighter? Joe, my life is kind of it's kind of fun and crazy sometimes. You know, I'm husband, daddy, 
coach, friendly, uh, everything, you know. I'm, I'm like to be busy like that. that. That's one thing I'm enjoying, you know, and fire as well. So I just go there and, and I, I try to do, you know, all the things 100%. So, you know, I I'm, I'm feel good, like 38, but I'm still in good shape. I go to the room, I go to the practice room and, and train with those kids like 20, couple, 20, 25 years old, like in the prime. But I'm still, my, my, my level is still there, you know, I'm trained like a, you know, I don't, I don't feel, I, I mean, the time you be, the time is going to tell me to stop when I go to the practice and not can score with them, you know what I mean? So if I go train and I cannot like a, do anything against those guys, that's going to be the time for me like, okay, that's time to stop. But uh, so far, you know, I train I don't want to mention names, but I go to the room and train with those guys. Like you know, some days I lost, some days I win, and make me excited to to not stop. Nice. So, what is the motivation on a daily basis? I mean, is it just is it taking care of your family financially? Is it just the competition? I mean, what drives you on a daily my family. basis? Yeah, my kids. I do everything for my kids. You know, first God and 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 my kids for sure. You know, I like to everything I do is for them you know, for my two babies, that's, that's 100%. Nice. Well, when you break this one down, how do you think it goes with Ryan? You know, a, a guy that's got some great wrestling, he's got some yeah. great grappling. Um, how do you see this thing playing out? I, I don't know, man. I want to go there and dance the music. You know, the music that the, they bring to the table, I'm going to dance, you know. Um, I'm, I'm waiting to find the fee. I'm waiting to wrestle him. I'm waiting to go to the ground, you know. Let's see, you know. I, I'm, I'm excited for that one.